Hi there, my name is Dave Blake from EGD and in this video we're going to be talking about the diagnostics on the MC800 control panel. This refers to the LEDs on the board and how you can determine whether there's a fault present or not. Okay, going from left to right on this control panel, you've got the blue bus LED which typically should be flashing green once every second or so. If that's not doing that and if there's a, a quick series of red flashes in fairly quick succession, that's the board telling you there's a fault present. This could be some of the more common ones you might see, such as the two flash fault, which is in reference to photocells. So if you've got two flashes, two quick flashes, then a pause, then the fault is gonna be with something to do with the photocells. Let's send my gates to the closed position and mimic that with photocells being interrupted. What you should see is a two flash fault and then a pause. Two flashes, then a pause. And that's telling me those two flashes uh, has been, has been a, an activation by the photocells. Um, that will clear on the next operation. So if I sent this gate a close command again, uh, you should see the LED go back to be flashing once every second. But there are all other diagnostics for this LED as well. So such as three flashes and a pause, that references the inherent obstacle detection. Four flashes and a pause is the stop input. And then you've got the dreaded seven flash fault, which is when there's a serious malfunction on the control panel. Sometimes this can come up and it can just be easily cleared by sending another command. But if it's not, then you may need to factory reset the control board. The other LEDs on this control panel reference other things, such as the auxiliary inputs. Now the auxiliary inputs by default are set to be a limit switch input. However, you can change these via the button above to set them to be a photocell input. Again, the LEDs just above those inputs there should be on if there's a normally closed signal present, which is basically what your photocells should be offering. So you'll see if there's a, uh, a closed contact wired across here, it'll be represented by a red LED just above. So if I was to cover my photocells there, you'd see that go open circuit and the LED will turn off. So that's how you can tell what you've got, that you've got a closed circuit back to the control panel. So if you suspect that the photocells are playing up, um, again, one of the first places, as well as your uh, blue bus LED, will be to have a look at above the AUX inputs here, just to make sure that they are showing closed contacts where they should be. Moving along, then you've got this stop input LED, which again, that should be permanently lit. When you do a search for connected devices, this will illuminate depending on the state of the wiring that you've wired in there at the time. This input can monitor normally open, normally closed, or 8.2K ohm resistance. If that input was to ever change state, for instance, going closed circuit to open, then the LED above it will turn off, and then you'll end up with a four flash fault on your blue bus LED. So that LED, the stop LED, should be permanently lit. And the last three LEDs on this board reference the command inputs. So you'll have SBS, open, and close. SBS is referenced in the step-by-step -step command input. Open is the open input, which will open, stop, open. And close is, as it sounds, close, stop, close. Uh, now those three inputs should be normally open contacts wired across there. And likewise with the other LEDs across that row, uh, they will indicate when there's a closed signal present. So if your gates are stuck open for whatever reason and uh, your open LED is lit, then you know that you need to go back to your command devices and have a look at why there's a closed circuit present. So that summarizes the diagnostics on the NICE MC800 control panel. For more information, please contact us on the details below. And for the latest in industry news and our latest offers, please follow us on social media.